he, he was robbing Peter to pay Paul. This retired bus driver does not want to reveal his identity, but he wants you to learn from his story. I was looking for somebody that would pay me a little bit more. I could get my check and I could leave a beneficiary. He heard about Thomas Mitchell, an investment advisor who promised clients an 8% return on their money. I went on the word of mouth. My friends said, I've been getting paid my check coming every month. If I don't like it after five years, I can get my money back. So he invested with Mitchell and began receiving monthly checks for $2,300. But when he went to discuss some of the investments with another firm, he found discrepancies. So he called the SEC. Not only is he paying you off the back end of your money, he's using your money to pay the other others too. It's a pyramid. I read the paper. I was reading about uh, Madoff and stuff like that, but I didn't think nothing like that would happen to me. Mitchell had been running a 15-year Ponzi scheme that collected $15 million from a group of 150 retirees. Court documents say Mitchell spent the money on Lakers games, high-end apartments, luxury cars, and vacations. It's a lot of people lost everything because of that. All of the victims in this case were retired bus drivers. Postal inspectors call this an affinity scheme. One person will tell another person, they're actually doing the work for Mr. Mitchell. They're talking to all their coworkers or you know, the, their fellow retirees and encouraging them to invest in this great investment. As always, research is key. Check out the guy. Is he really, does he have any credentials? Is he licensed? What makes him the person that you want to give your money to? And you have to do a little research on it. And they're not bonded with the Better Business Bureau. You don't go with them. And that's what I didn't do. And I knew better.